Hi guys, yeah, it's Christian here, 2019 European and National Clathlon Champion in my age group. And in today's video, I'm talking about VO2 Max and how you can improve your VO2 Max to get faster. Firstly guys, welcome to the channel if you're new to the channel and welcome back if you're not new to the channel. Um, please subscribe and uh, like the videos, um, I've got a lot of videos anyway. And on to, to today's video, today's video is a VO2 max and how you can benefit from it. Now firstly, what is VO2 max? So um, VO2 max is um, when you're even running moderate or hard, how much oxygen in a nutshell that your body can take um, and therefore um, in the muscles and how you are able to um, keep that speed going and run, and run fast. So that, that's it roughly in a nutshell. Um, you'll see uh, basically it's genetics, um, they, you get a high VO2 max purely from genetics and that's why you see this with uh, elite runners that have a very high um, VO2 max. Now, for likes of us, the ordinary people that like their hobbies and want to improve their VO2 max, you can improve it by around 10 to 15 percent um, if you train it. Now, that it, there's been a lot of studies where it actually makes you faster, but higher VO2 max will, of course, give you that um, more of a lung capacity. Therefore, your muscles won't get as tired as quickly, and therefore, you'll be able to run. Um, faster um, if you, you train it. But please don't neglect running economy because that I think is more beneficial and more important and that'll be for another video at a later date. Now with the VO2 max, what you've got to do is firstly, how do you improve it? So firstly, you can indicate where you are training because um, you, can, you can see um, where you are in training from how high it is um, from your watch, but please know when you have it on your watch, most watches only estimate it, so it's a guess really. And it's um, unless you've got like a feature, like my watch, the Polar Vantage V2, has a feature, the VO2 Max uh, test on there, which is a, sp a specific test for it, and it gives you a rough guide. Again, you should only just take this as a rough estimate, but it's more accurate than a watch that will just give you a rough guide when you're out running and then it will say, oh, your VO2 max has gone up, for example. Um, so you get that on many watches that just estimate it. Now, the best way to do a VO2 max, uh, to get your VO2 max, sorry, is to have a lab test. Now, most universities do this. They, um, they have this where uh, students require, well, you have to pay or students re um, require test dummies for their studies and it, they provide a VO2 max test. And with that, you can get loads of data and tell you where you are and how you can improve. So I've been, quite a few, been on quite a few tests and I've used the studies so I can fulfill my potential and um, know where I am. And I've always found as well, when I've done studies, I found that my watch is always about three to four um, uh, points, if you want to call it points, off then what my VO2 max test was in the lab. Now when you do a lab, they take saliva tests, blood samples, blood tests when you're actually um, running. So that's why it's it's, it's quite accurate. Um, then obviously you having it on a watch and plus you have a mask as well where they, they measure the, the input of the oxygen as well and your saliva test. So it's quite in depth and then you can see now why the watch is only estimating and guessing really compared to having a test. So that's a, a little bit of a background for it. Now, how, how do you train your, um, well, you train your VO2, well, to get that VO2 max higher? Now, obviously with short distance, they say that you need more oxygen when you're running faster because you're running faster and therefore you need a higher VO2 max to sustain the pace. Now, um, the, the, way, the best way um, is to do it is interval sessions. Now, interval sessions are the best way to target your VO2 max. Now, 
the best the best way to do it is longer reps now longer reps will increase it now the reason it's longer reps is because you spare you spend more time at your heart rate max than you would do a shorter rep so if you're doing 100 meter reps 200 meter reps for example 300 400 meter reps but um that 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 will help your vo2 max slightly but what will help you more is um, the longer reps. So if you're doing two mile reps, one mile reps, 800 meter reps. So the longer you are running at your heart rate max, um, the, the better it is for getting that VO2 um, max higher. And obviously in the long run, you are um, improving your, um, uh, your ability and you're improving and therefore you'll be able to sustain the pace at a, a lot longer um, time. So what I used to like doing to get my VO2 max was do mile reps. So I used to build up mile reps from uh, one, two, three, four. I used to add it one mile rep a week and I used to do that and we used to be one of my core sessions, especially when I was training for half marathon and sustain the pace um, for a long period of time. And obviously if you're running the shorter, you want to you want to build on the cadence, so that's something different. But um, so the longer the better. So as I mentioned, um, the one mile reps, two mile reps, thing, things like that will help VO2 max because the longer you are targeting at your staying at the heart rate max, a uh, certain pace and speed is where you will um, improve. But please bear in mind, you can only improve by about 10, 15 percent. So don't expect if you've got if you've got like um, a heart rate max of 30, don't expect to get up to like 80, like an elite level, because obviously, as I mentioned, it's 10 to 15%. But what I'd say, you can work on that, and that's how to improve um, your, um, to improve, and that's obviously a small chunk of your training. But if you want to improve more, I always say running the comedy is where you make the greatest gains. So guys, I hope you found this video interesting. I mean, um, I've been in loads of tests so it, and studies, so if you want any um, questions regarding this, please um, drop a comment and I'll answer your question. Please like the video and please subscribe to the channel. And um, thanks again for watching, guys. And the uh, champions of the uh, this age group category, Henrietta Tarasevic, Emilianis Cristado, Quinci Bix, Cristadulu.